This is Tomo News for Tuesday, February 21st. Guy gets coworker drunk, takes her home, and rapes her. Individual sexual consent seems to be a difficult concept. In Taiwan, Mr. Liang, age 36, seems to struggle with this concept too. At a company party, Mr. Liang felt he had an opportunity to finally get it on with a female coworker, an unidentified 24-year-old woman. According to witnesses, Mr. Liang began to aggressively ply the woman with alcohol until she was passed out drunk. Mr. Liang and another male coworker said they would see the woman home. Mr. Liang insisted on dropping off the other coworker first, insisting that he would be able to get the woman home safely. Mr. Liang then took the woman home and raped her. In the morning, when the woman awoke, she immediately went to hospital for a rape examination. Hospital authorities said that the amount of damage was extensive and she had probably been raped more than once that night. Initially, Mr. Liang told police that she'd come on to him, but after other co-workers stated that the woman was already passed out drunk and beyond the point of consent, Mr. Liang confessed to raping his female co-worker. A judge has found Mr. Liang guilty and sentenced him to just 22 months in jail. Man poured boiling water on gay couple, said they disgusted him. In February, Martin Blackwell, 48, was arrested for committing a brutal hate crime. Marquise Tolbert, 21, and his boyfriend, Anthony Gooden Jr., 23, said they had no idea Blackwell, the boyfriend of Gooden's mother, hated their relationship. The couple said there was no fight and the night of the attack was a normal night. But Blackwell was disgusted by the relationship and was about to show his true colors. While they were asleep, Blackwell enacted his crime of hate pouring boiling water on the couple. He then allegedly pulled Tolbert off the mattress and yelled, quote, get out of my house with all that gay, end quote. Both men suffered severe burns all over their bodies and required hospitalization. Blackwell was arrested for two counts of aggravated assault and is currently being held without bail. NASCAR driver Mike Waller. NASCAR driver Mike Wallace beat up after Rascal Flatts concert. Champion NASCAR driver Mike Wallace was beat senselessly by three men following a Rascal Flatts concert on the night of June 17. Wallace, his wife, and his daughter were leaving the PNC Amphitheater after the show when they were accosted by Paul Lucas, David Lucas, and Randolph Magnum, all in their 20s. Wallace claims they seemed drunk or drugged up and started assaulting him. Kicking him in the head until he lost consciousness. Wallace's daughter, Lindsay, jumped on top of her father to try to shield him from the blows, which led to her being kicked in the ribs repeatedly. The two were later admitted to hospital. Mike Wallace had to get 12 stitches in his mouth before he could be released. <laughs> Meanwhile, the three men were arrested after the beatdown, but let out on bond later that evening. They are now facing assault charges. Car salesman steals nude pics from customer's phone and posts them online. A couple in Frisco, Texas is fighting for justice after a sleazy car salesman undermined their privacy in the creepiest of ways. In January 2015, Pastor Tim Gatro and his wife Claire walked into a Texas Toyota dealership looking to pick up a Prius. The deal almost done, the salesman assisting them asked to borrow Tim's iPhone so he could show his manager a pre-approved financing document saved on an app. Little did the couple realize, the despicable salesman then snuck away to take a quick scroll through the photos on the phone. When he stumbled upon a few sexy nude photos of the pastor's wife getting in and out of the bathtub, he secretly emailed them out to a swingers website. What a slimeball. Who does that? Guys like 44-year-old Matthew <laughs> Thomas, that's who. The dirtbag then returned the phone and sent the couple to the dealership's finance manager to finalize the paperwork. But when Pastor Tim went into his phone to pull up a document, a year-old photo of his wife popped up. The email of his wife's naked pics had been deleted, but a record of the email was saved in another app on his phone. Thomas was arrested on charges of computer security breach in November 2015. He will appear on court later this month. Meanwhile, the couple is suing him, Texas Toyota of Grapevine, and Toyota Motor North America for several grievances. It's bad enough we have to worry about iCloud hacking, but peeping car salesmen too? Rose. Prosecutor asks for death penalty in rape murder case. Prosecutor in the rape murder case of a young university back in March of this year has asked the court to consider the death penalty for the man accused of murdering her. The man identified by his last name Huang and the victim were good friends and attended the same university. Huang also had a long-time crush on the 19-year-old girl. Huang claims after he confessed his crush 
and was rejected by the victim. He'd raped and then strangled her to death. Afterwards, Wong wrapped the body in a black plastic trash bag and drove up into the mountains where he attempted to burn the evidence. Unfortunately, nearby hikers noticed the smoke and notified rangers who held Huang in the parking lot while they investigated the source of the smoke. After they discovered the body, Huang was arrested by police and made a full confession while in police custody.